Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing below. Today, I want to talk to you about manifesting one of my favorite topics in the entire universe and on a specific point. And what we're going to talk about today, I, I want you to think about this as a scientific experiment you're going to be doing based on our conversation, because a lot of people want to look at when they're working with energy, like I have to do it this way. If I don't, something terrible is going to happen, or I'm not going to get what I want. I always like to look at manifesting and co-creating as an experiment. So I'm in this place where I'm letting go. I'm in a place of surrender. I'm having fun. I'm curious. I'm wondering what's going to occur. And I want you to do it that way too. So the topic for manifesting today is about not getting caught, caught up in the media's fear and concern about an impending recession coming into the United States. It's all over the news, you know, even, um, you know, we have what's considered a flashing U.S. economy recession signs uh, in terms of the stock market. Of course, interest rates are now higher than 5% for mortgage um, and many other things that are occurring that are indicators that a recession is coming. And that very well could be true. But you want to live in an alternative universe. You don't want to live in the universe the media is always creating for you. It's going to be negative, heartbreaking, destructive. There's not a lot of positive language. You don't want to live in that reality. You want to live in an alternative reality so that no matter what's happening in the world, it's not happening to you. And whatever happens in the world is ultimately going to benefit you. The more we can get people on board with that type of curiosity, the better our world is going to be. So that means you should not buy into what the media is expressing, even if it's going to be true for lots of other people, it doesn't have to be true for you. You can always live in a completely different reality. It's a choice. It's really about vibration. So a recession is a lower functioning frequency. Fear about money is a lower vibrational frequency. Worried about losing one's job or interest rates skyrocketing, and now your children or your friends or yourself can't buy a new house. Uh, or now you can't go on trips. All of that is fear energy. And it is at a lower frequency vibration. You can be at a higher frequency vibration. Today, my children were texting each other. And thankfully, I am on a group text, one of theirs. I'm sure they have one without me, but there's one with me. And I usually miss a lot of their texts. And I end up just doing emojis to the conversation to add my two cents. But this morning, I was getting ready for the radio show. And I noticed what the kids were talking about. And they were talking about this impending recession. And I was telling my children and giving them my perception that you can choose to be in a different reality. And one of my kids wrote, yeah, but you know, even the restaurants don't have enough wait staff and um, people don't have enough jobs. And what are we going to do? And one of my other daughters wrote in, well, maybe people who used to work in the service industry realized they could maybe have uh, perhaps a more secure job and work from home and make more money. And so that's why there aren't enough people to work in the service industry. So those are two different topics of conversation, right? One is saying, wow, this group of people found a different calling potentially. Um, I mean, people can work in, in service industry, especially if it makes them happy and be extremely successful. And if it doesn't make them happy, they can go and leave that particular industry and go find a different job, get some new skills, work from home, walk their dog, make their own lunch and not have to work with complete strangers every single day, all day long, who are depending on their income in terms of how much of a tip they leave them. So in every moment, you have a choice of how you're going to view or experience the world. And the decision you make is going to create a vibration in your body. And that vibration is going to be your return on that situation. So if you're going to be in fear of, of a recession, of climbing interest rates, of, I think Amazon sold a bunch of stock today. <laughs> um, if you're going to be... Uh, fearful of those things, it's not going to help your portfolio or your stocks or your interest rate or the value of your home or even the food that's in your refrigerator. It's going to rot faster. If you start to 
be in this place of lack and the sky is falling and what are we going to do? If you get into that energy, it's not going to affect you in a positive way. It's going to affect you in a negative way, or it's just going to make you very stressed out, which is not good for your body. It's going to lower your immune system. So your job is to creatively create new scenarios, create new ideas, be open to, oh, a bunch of people who used to work in the service industry decided, which was a smart idea because restaurants were closed around the country, particularly where I live in the Northwest. Um, you couldn't even eat in a restaurant unless you had a vaccination card for a very long time. Uh, so these individuals, what if they went to school or realized they had a great talent and now are working in a very different industry that won't be dependent on service? And what if they're making more money? What if they're having more fun? Instead of the other idea, what if they're displaced? They lost their jobs. Uh, what if the restaurants aren't hiring enough people right now? Um, or what if they had some challenges in the restaurant because people were complaining about having to wear a mask or a vaccine card and they don't want to be around that area and now they don't have a job. You have a choice on where you're going to put your energy. And I want you to take this choice very seriously because it will affect your life. It will. You will either have be granted more opportunities and have great returns in your life because you're putting your energy in a positive place, or you could either create great stress for your physical form if money isn't one of your issues, or if money is your issue, then you're going to have a lesser return on your livelihood. If you choose this direction, the more positive direction, not only are you going to help yourself to have incredible opportunities, but you're going to help the vibration of the entire planet. You are going to help the world have a completely different experience. Your energy is part of the collective. If you can be happy and fulfilled, even though the news is screaming warning signs at you, you are going to win the game. And what if you think of this as, as an experiment? Because, you know, if you're a certain age, you certainly don't have to be my age, but even if you're in your 30s or your 20s, you've already lived through some sort of recession or problem in your lifetime. Even if it didn't affect you individually, it could have affected your family or people that you know or businesses that you've worked for previously. So you already know what happens when the stock market falls or the housing market has a crisis or some sort of recession sets in. And now, because it's flashing, you have an opportunity to either vibrate in the fear and the anxiety or tell yourself completely different stories and increase your vibration. This is your experiment. I want you to work on this side of the divide, um, which is my right side. <laughs> I want you to work on this side of the divide because I want you to see what happens when you do. When the housing market took a dive in what, 2008, something like that. One of my clients at the time was a mortgage broker and uh, I've known her for a long time, really sweet woman. And sometimes people worry about single women. I'm a single woman and have been for quite a while. And people just kind of worry about you for some reason. And she was worried about me. And she was like, so, you know, how's everything going? Um, oddly, most people don't know that at least in my job, um, I have excellent job security. And usually I almost always have more work than I could ever accomplish. Um, but even when life goes weird, I actually get even busier. So I was extremely busy during that time period. But she, so she was worried. I assured her that I had plenty of work. Everything was fine. She goes, what about the house? Is everything okay? And I'm kind of a conservative person. I always do the lowest rate at a 30-year fix or a 15-year fix. I don't use variables or arms. Um, even if I've been encouraged to by a mortgage broker, I always kind of take choose a safe route. So I don't know if that's what she was thinking or what she was worried about. I said, oh yeah, everything's fine. And she looked at me like, I must not have understood her question. <laughs> and then she said, like, do you have enough equity in the house? Like, oh yeah, I've got equity in the house. And she looked shocked, like her eyes were bulging out of her head. She looked so surprised that I was not only okay, that I was thriving. And it's because I choose to run my energy different, but I choose to be a different person than the majority of the people on the planet as well. Every single day, I choose to have a different perception. I choose to have a different way of experiencing driving to work or gardening or grocery shopping on purpose. I choose to have a different experience. 
So I'm asking you to do that as the you know, world economy is flashing warning signs around the globe and our banks are repeating that and the media is sharing it freely with scary words around it. Choose to be in a different vibration. Use this as an experiment because when you do an experiment and you prove to yourself what you're capable of accomplishing, you won't go back to the old way of doing things because your inner being, your awareness, your consciousness, and even your humanness went, oh, that worked. And look at all the cool things that happened because we shifted our energy and you won't want to go back to a fear dominated belief system and keep me posted. Let me know how it goes. Have a great day. Bye-bye.